thank you for joining us here on Midday Kentucky. Troy is continuing his long weekend off, but he will be back here on the table tomorrow. So we're lucky to have David joining us for a Monday. Hey, Love being with you ladies. Start my week off, right? How was your, right. your weekend? It was wonderful. It was fabulous. I got so much wedding stuff done. It's yeah. all I did. I was like... Brandy was like, this, this, flowers, you know. We're, okay. we're about to get, like, the invitations out. And, You're in uh, crunch time, right, June? Yeah. P.S., I think I sent you all some text messages saying I need some addresses. Yeah, so that I'm became one of those really, really long group texts, so I just didn't read it or respond. <laughs> you know how sometimes you're in a group text yeah. and there's so many messages exactly flying through? Right. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Sorry, David. I'm coming after both of you. <laughs> Let it be known. I wanted a personal text. Okay, I got yeah. that. I got that. Yes. How was your weekend, Lisa? I finally got Lisa out to Whole Foods night, the $6 <laughs> date. Yes, she did. We did the $6 <laughs> date. It was so awesome. I loved it. Actually, Doug and I, we had a great time. And we brought the kids. Katie yeah. was like, oh, you can bring the kids. They have games and things yeah. like that. And I thought, really? I was like, okay. Yeah. So I brought the boys. <laughs> I brought the boys, and that's a challenge in itself. But no, they were like, they had so much fun, and they were playing the checkers and cornhole with yeah. strangers. I mean, they were just like going up talking. And <laughs> Meet and greet. Oh, yeah. it was crazy. It really was. And how so, about yeah. life-size Jenga? It's so much fun. Oh, oh I yeah. know. Yeah. It, was, it was really fun. Well, we well boom. Time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't ask you guys, have you ever been to Wildside um, Winery in Versailles? Is that? No, no, I, I don't think so. I just went there yesterday. I'm trying to cool. explore a little more, so I need to get out to Woodford County mm -hmm. a little more. Mm -hmm. And it was beautiful. It was gorgeous. Went with Amber, and we had a good time. So you guys got to check it out. Awesome. Oh, I bet you two were wild <laughs> out twist there. Twist my arm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wild wild and like, crazy. But you know okay. I love a good deal, and for $6, you have to try eight wines. It's just, a, you know, a little bit. That's but awesome. Yeah. That's fun. So you guys got to check it out or give us some tips on wineries that we should check out. $12 weekend. Here. $12 <laughs> weekend. You're right. I like it. Um, well, David, you are stepping up to the plate today, right. taking over for Troy with the Olympic update, right? <sighs> poor Troy and poor Australia. But <laughs> poor us, but <laughs> we'll get we'll that yeah. anyway. <laughs> our, our top three for the Olympics remains the same. Norway is first with 39 gold medals. Germany is in second with 31 medals. And then you have Canada coming in third with 29 medals. USA is still holding a strong fourth with 23 medals, 9 gold, 8 silver, and 6 brawn. So again, yes. Australia, what? they've got three medals. And um, they're in 20th. Okay. Yeah, and they're 20th. <laughs> Troy, I'm sorry. Uh, tell Australia it is what to it step is. it up a little. So right. Troy's not there cool. to help. That's the problem. They, well, they're missing <laughs> their cheerleader. Chair. Maybe that's why that he took the day off. Maybe he was in <laughs> so go, <laughs> South go, Korea. Go. Yeah, right. who knows? Uh, well, I wanted to start things off with something I saw kind of uh, being shared around on Facebook this morning. It was this um, therapist saying that it was okay to swear in front of your kids. <laughs> oh. Uh, so before I dive a little more into it, what do you guys think? Uh, I think we're all guilty of a slip around a child in our whole life. You have to have done it, right? right or yeah. what, what do you think? Yeah, it slipped out a few times. <laughs> <laughs> Real talk. Come so, on, Mama. So I'm glad that it's it's okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but no, I you know we do try to watch it around the kids all the time. But yeah, it does happen. I mean, it does slip out, and um, you know, and unfortunately, it did get repeated by my my uh, son when he was my 13 year old. Now he back when he was what probably about three. Okay. He repeated you. Know, the, the SH word, and right. I mean, just it popped out. And he said it to grandma and granddad, so that oh, was no. really good. <laughs> so you're doing a great job with these kids, yeah, Lisa. Yeah, we need to talk. Uh, what, would you, what would your reaction be um, from uh, maybe a babysitter or someone that, I, you know, something runs over their foot? Uh, you know what I mean? Like yeah, in a situation yeah. like this, and they flip that word. Are you upset or you kind of understand? Kinda, and you know what? I understand. Know. I do. Yeah. I mean, I get it. It just depends. I mean, it can't be just another word in every other sentence, you know. Right. What I mean? Okay. But if it is something where they injure themselves or hurt themselves, you know, you, sometimes you just can't help it. Yeah, right. it just yeah. slips out. So what do you think, David? It's happen. Did your parents ever curse around you? Yeah, they really didn't. Uh, but this weekend, uh, one of my buddies brought his little girl over, and we were just hanging out at the house. And like, she's like two. Okay. Is she, you know, mm -hmm. and you know, he would. Uh, he just kind of says it real mildly, and I was like. <gasps> Oh gosh, she's a little sponge. She's gonna be <laughs> running around cussing and, and I was swearing and, like a sailor. <laughs> but then I was like, well, maybe it's n not a big deal. Like right. yeah. it's just chill. So what what the study say it, on it? So this guy was saying it was kind of an informal study he did among patients of his that have kids and kind of looking at the results. Mm -hmm. And he said kids will repeat what you say. He just cautioned that if you curse in front of a child, which he says will happen. Always explain right away that you shouldn't have said that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So that, that 
so that they start to realize that's not something you should use every other word, like right. you said, Lisa. But he said, obviously, the, the main rule and the big difference is you can never swear at a child. Yeah. Do, oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, like, yeah. you better yes. blanking do this oh, yeah. rather than something happens to you and you're just reacting. Right. So he was talking about the big difference between it is 100% never okay swearing at a child. Yeah. But if you just swear accidentally in front of them, don't be too hard on yourself, parents. Don't do it yeah. all the time. Right. But right. if you do, he, he just said, tell the kid right away, you know, that you shouldn't have done that. Yeah. I think and that's kind really of explain. Important. What do you think? I think that's super important. And I agree with you because, you know, you're not like, if you're just saying something like, you know, you you, uh, you cut your finger yeah. and, mm -hmm. and you sway real quick, then it's kind of like, ah, you know, but yeah. when you're putting like negative intention into a kid, mm -hmm. that's not cool. Well, yeah. you know, um, we've even taught our kids that saying like saying stupid or calling someone stupid um, mm -hmm. is is a bad word. We yeah. don't want to hear it in our household. And um, sometimes if it does slip out of my mouth about <laughs> something. <laughs> My sons will be like, aww, mommy. Mm. So I have to, really, I mean, they're my little swearing police, you yeah. know? Yeah. And my other, my oldest came home and he was like, we need to do a jar, mommy, like a swear jar that if you get <laughs> bad words come out, you have to put like a dollar, it's a dollar in it. Mom. I'm like, yeah, and who's going to get that money? It goes <laughs> towards the Whole Foods pizza. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. All right, so I guess we, we kind of agree with him then. It's okay every now and then for a slip, but yeah. Yeah. never intentionally at the child. Exactly. Like yeah. All right. <laughs> well, Lisa, something that you brought in today, uh, and I'm kind of curious about, it's the negative effects maybe of perfume? Yeah, believe it <laughs> oh, or not. Yeah. You know, headaches and birth defects recently were not caused, are not caused necessarily by what we we would think that they would be. They're actually showing studies now that, that cancer and birth defects are being caused by possibly perfumes wow. and fragrances in the air. And so there's a, a big discussion about this. Let me ask you guys, first of all, have you, do you ever have a, a scent that comes over you that kind of triggers a headache or makes you not feel well? Have you ever had that happen? I've never not felt well or had a headache, but there's certainly scents I have not enjoyed. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. 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 You know, we, we actually tell our staff in the, in the chiropractic clinic yeah. not to wear perfume. Right. You okay. know, because a lot of patients do come in with headaches or migraines. Yes. And that kind of instigate it. And okay. you have to think... You know how, like, in the last couple of years, essential oils have become huge. Mm -hmm. You know, like, people use oils for everything. Mm -hmm. So, essentially, you're putting a lot of these perfumes on your stuff, you know, like your, your body, <laughs> uh, your neck, whatever. And if they're absorbing those chemicals, after time, I could see that being, like, having a negative influence. It really is. And what they're saying, too, not only um, is it causing headaches, migraines, respiratory issues, mm. I mean, across the board. Um, but they're also saying that it's contributing to our air pollution, too. Mm. That Something more so out. than cars. <laughs> and that was what was shocking for me. Scientists recently <laughs> Wait, concluded. I know. Perfume harms the environment more than cars. <laughs> listen to this. Scientists recently <laughs> concluded that everyday chemical, or everyday chemicals, including cleaning products. Oh, okay. So we're not just talking perfume, oh, okay. Okay. but we're talking the fragrances that are in all of the products ah. around us. Um, are now contributing to air pollution more than cars, and Maybe they said like that the breeze or something, anything. That, I mean, okay, any, just anything. I mean, think about it. When we wake up in the mornings and we take a shower, our our shampoos have yeah. uh, perfume fragrance. Our soaps, we get out of the shower, mm -hmm. we have our deodorants, our everything. I mean, everything. Perfumes, hairsprays. Yeah. Um, we go to work. They have air fresheners in places. They have them in your car. Um, they said that mm -hmm. all of these fragrances um, are contributing to air pollution more so than the cars, which I, was I wonder if it's making them also. You know, like the production of all this stuff? Yes, yeah. I wonder how in-depth that really gets. Right, true. You know, because... You know, a little hairspray. I know you ladies get a little wild over there. I do love okay. the hairspray. Well, I think it, I just hope this means that we don't wear perfume anymore because perfume's like sixty to eighty dollars for it a little crazy. perfume. It really you know, is. I love a good budget, and that's yeah. beyond the budget for me. <laughs> <laughs> and now I can say I'm foregoing the perfume expense that's for fine. the environment. You're doing it for the environment. You're going well, they're, green. They're even considering banning fragrances too. There is talk about having it banned here in the U.S. Yes. And so that's where that's how serious this mm. has become. So I just know, like like what you said, David. When I used to be in sales in pharmaceutical sales, mm -hmm. I would call on pharm uh, uh, pulmonologists, mm -hmm. and they treat asthma and, and whatnot. And 
they had a big sign that said, do not wear perfumes. And they specifically told the reps when right. we came in, no perfumes ever. And they would not let you back to see the doctor and talk to him if you They'd had perfume like, on. They'd be like, excuse me, ma'am, you smell way too good to come back here. <laughs> Sorry, you're gonna, no, no, I, I get it. But it is just kind of one of those things that's very, uh, you don't really think about all the yeah. time. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. Well, let's move on to something that we don't know how many people are thinking about this. Something revealed about Khloe uh, <laughs> Kardashian's birth plan, right? Yeah. And Kim did this as well, and she made some headlines. Yeah, so after Kim Kardashian uh, had her baby, she ate her placenta. Mm -hmm. And that has become huge. Wait. You know, yep, I'm going to say it again. <laughs> she ate the baby's placenta, oh. uh, which is basically the film used to, you know, protect the baby yep. from the immune system of uh, the mother and to help them. And, and yet, so a lot of a lot of people are taking this now. It's become pretty big. Why? Uh, they'll take. Uh, <laughs> there's supposedly health benefits like postpartum depression is one of those theor theories. Yeah. Um, helping with uh, basically uh, pain even after birth pain. Really? So like um, a lot of women will have like you know vaginal bleeding. Yeah. And things like that. And they're saying though, Northwestern did a big study on it, and they said there isn't really enough conclusive evidence to show that it gives mm. you benefits. Yeah. Uh, so it could be the placebo effect at this point. Yeah. But, you know, you really start to look, 40% of women out of a study out of 189 women said that they felt better, their uh -huh. moods were better, their pain was better. Um, so it's kind of like, okay, how do you, how do you <laughs> eat, or how do you ingest this um, placenta? So there's oh different geez. ways. Uh, one of my favorites was uh, a dad talking about cooking it up on the grill for his wife. Oh, which, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, <laughs> I know. It is what it is. Grilled placenta, but, seriously, David. Well, <laughs> <laughs> but one of the most no. popular ways is uh, through capsules. That's you know, what I've always heard. People um, doing the pills. A lot of midwives will get that ready. Uh, yeah. When I say a lot, I don't know. How, right? <laughs> how many, um, but they really just, they haven't really shown what I think, I think it's become a bit of a fad. Yeah. I'm gonna be real with yeah. you. You know, the Kardashians are talking about it, so it's, it's kind of a big deal. Mm -hmm. You know, it's hip, it's hot, they're eating placenta and whatnot. So <laughs> the Center of Disease actually said though that there are risks, including uh, one mother got Streptococcus B um, and passed it to her child through eating the capsules, well, taking the capsules, okay. uh -huh. a placenta. So there have been risks affiliated. Most doctors say, listen, if you want us to save it, if you want us to save your placenta and eat it later, it's up to the mother. Yeah, I think leave it up to the mother. I'd like to see some more research on it before I'd consider it, but so you I'm it? not weirded out by it. Okay. If I don't know. Well, a lot of mammals eat the placenta. Of right. It, but the a lot of scientists were taught, when I say a lot, the scientists in the um, article were saying that there's so many theories on why they do that. Uh -huh. okay. And you know, a lot of times they're thinking it's gonna help with basically build the immune system of the mother mm -hmm. and bring the nutrients after giving birth. Mm -hmm. Okay. Did well, you, did you eat the placenta? Oh gosh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, never even had a craving for it at all, actually. I'm so hungry for placenta <laughs> right now, no. Grilled. <laughs> um, but no, I, I uh, I had not done that. I had heard, though, there is some religious belief yeah. around that, um, possibly. I've heard that, too. About eating it, possibly well, burying it, it or something. I don't know. In it your came yard, from ancient Chinese tradition, yeah. is what the article said. Okay. And they, uh, some cultures do bury the placenta uh -huh. to actually show, like, it's an attribute yeah. to getting mm -hmm. them through it. So, I mean, there's a lot of different aspects to do things, but... Yeah. It's still, it's kind of like, there's just not a lot of research showing the benefits. Well, I, you had mentioned animals, and I know my, my dog growing up, she um, would have puppies um, at, at our house when I was growing up, and they um, and she would eat the placenta. I watched the birthing of these puppies, and she did. She ate all of the, you know, everything. Yeah. And I think, too, that the mothers don't want to leave their puppies or their, their, you know, offspring at that point. They can't leave for a few, you know, days to a week uh, mm -hmm. to go get something to eat or drink. So it might be something to do with that too to get as much nutrients yeah. too hmm, as possible and plus they're cleaning freaks they want to clean those puppies up and right. keep them all nice and healthy i, I mean i would ask think. my doctor about it i'm not going to do anything that the kardashians do just right. because, you know i don't think we could take health advice from them but <laughs> I, I don't know it seems like something talking to your doctor that there you know yeah. could be some real benefits if, if your doctor says you could benefit not the kardashians i think we can get so. some good facebook comments on this yeah. I'm, some very interesting yeah. ones. We'll have, yeah. to get, we'll have to get a doctor on this. I think I'm just going to stick with vitamins. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, stay with us coming up after the break. We're sitting down with High on Art and Coffee. You're watching Midday Kentucky.